by now we've all heard the chatter and I wanted to think long and hard before I put pen to paper like Uncle Lenny when he's browsing through the DoorDash app. First things first, no one will ever replace Eddie Lacy. LeBron ain't the new Jordan because there will never be another one. There will never be another Eddie Lomain Lacy. That's my dog. So don't you ever disrespect me talking about Lenny Fornex, Buffet Lenny, borderline blasphemous. As it relates to fantasy football, we got to talk about these reports. These reports surfaced about Uncle Lenny, Lasagna Lenny. There's a lot of words being thrown around here. First thing to understand, when the coaches were mad, while the reports came out about a week ago, the context of it came from about seven weeks ago when shit started back in early June. I'll tell you what makes the whole conundrum stupid as fuck. The report is that, you know, the coaches are like, he showed up damn near 260 pounds. These reports like this give off wild Zeke is getting 35 touches a game type energy. Tavon Austin is our web back who's going to get 20 touches a game type energy. You know how fucking old you got to be to use the word damn near? And the reason I bring that up is because when coaches talk about numbers, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They're literally clueless. They have no semblance of what's right or wrong as it pertains to numbers and volume and that type of shit. They're just extremely hyperbolic and loose with the way they use them. This is from Rick Stroud. Mandatory minicamp was nearly six weeks ago. He admitted to weighing 240-something. I asked the coach if he was more like 250-something. His response was more. That weight is likely gone. Leonard Fournette said he was 240-something. So a coach is just randomly throwing out 250, 260. You can't just add 20 pounds onto a figure. If Fournette's playing at 240-something, not ideal, but I don't give a shit. He's going to be in shape. There are Twitter videos of him working his face off, working them four necks. He's down to a minimum three necks now. Within that article from Rick Shroud, presuming he returns to game shape, Leonard Fournette likely will have to do minimal sharing in 2022. Keyshawn Vaughn and Giovanni Bernard are back, and the team drafted versatile ASU star Rashad White in the third round, but none possess the same clairvoyance with their quarterback. At the end of the day, the numbers are just going to be so exaggerated from coaches. And yes, they can be mad because he just got the new contract. You want to see your guy show up and ball out and be in the best shape of his life. Everyone's in the best shape of their life until they fucking stink on the football field. I'm going to need, you know what I'm, I'm going to need in order for my opinion to change about Fournette? Either I need like an Eddie Lacy type picture to actually come out or I need Tom Brady to come out. If Tom Brady comes out and says he's got a problem with Leonard Fournette, he's got a problem with his work ethic, he showed up too big, he's not going to be as versatile. Like Once we get that Tom talk, consider me nervous. But before then, I don't give a shit about what some damn near 72-year-old dude estimated with his fucking eyes Leonard Fournette weighs. 260, 250, 240, 230. Like, it's the dumbest shit I've ever read. So for now, you let that ADP drop like it's a $100 bill from a stranger and you pick it up. We are taking the ADP drop running in stride. If we're getting late third round Lenny now, that's my favorite Lenny of all time.